Hey guys, mental training week two. This week we will go over body language, confidence, and power poses. Let's begin. Body language is in fact a language. Have good body language and posture. Walk in confidence, be on your purpose. So body language is something that everybody gets to see. You don't have to hear it, you just see it. And it's loud. Your body tells your story. It tells how you feel and it tells who you are. So you guys have to realize this when you're on the playing field, that you must walk in confidence, have good posture. Don't let your body language get out of whack, as they say. When a strike is called and you think it's a ball, don't slump over, don't shake your head. You know, don't be a bobblehead. Just be confident about it. Carry yourself with poise, with strength, and that way you will feel better as well. It's your physiology, is your body. Your physiology releases the emotions in your body, which will have you either feel good or feel bad about yourself. So it's easy to feel bad when you're slumped over, your head's hanging around, you know, but it's easy to feel good. You got your shoulders in, shoulders up, head up, and you're feeling good. That's your physiology in action. So remember that. Remember this in daily life when you're meeting somebody for the first time. Have good posture, have good body language, look confident, you'll feel confident. Confidence, the definition is the feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something. Firm trust, a feeling of self-assurance arising from one's appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities. Okay, so the first definition has belief. You guys have to first believe. You can even fake it till you make it, but that is a firm belief in yourself. If you believe in yourself that you have the confidence, others can't, they have to accept it. They have to. If you're confident and you feel confident, that's the end of it. You're confident. So it's all on you, it's all on, it's all on your decision to be confident, to show confidence in your physiology, in your voice, and your facial expressions. It will all work out, but it first has to start with you inside making a decision that I'm gonna be confident. Everything else will fall into place. The second definition, you have to appreciate your guys' abilities. Appreciate the gifts you've been given from God. You know, accept them and embrace them and utilize them that way that you know you can perform to the best of your abilities because in this game of baseball you guys have to be confident it's a it's a game of failure it's a game of high intensity anxiety you guys have to be calm cool collected and confident next we're going to talk about power poses now power poses are important coming back to your physiology. Remember, if you look confident, you feel confident. Well, it's the same thing. When you make a good play, or when you hit a double, or when you hit a home run, you see guys on TV all the time going something like this, something, you know, something, because they have emotions in their bodies and they have to express it with their bodies. You know, they gotta lift their hands up. You know, there's studies done where you lift your hands up for a power pose and your body feels confident. You feel confident. It's something with your physiology, fellas. So embrace that, especially in baseball. You guys should be celebrating victories. You should be celebrating runs scored. You should be celebrating base hits, doubles, triples, home runs. Every chance you get, give your teammates high fives. Lift your guys' hands up. Be wild in the dugout. This increases your confidence, it increases the energy, and it's just an overall good thing to do to feel better about yourself. This game is full of failures. When you do succeed, celebrate. You guys deserve it, 
Your teammates deserve it. The fans deserve it. So just remember to use power poses to increase your physiology, your confidence, and that will resemble actions on the playing field.